I'm just curious how this works. If I were to select that, does it tell me how to discover synthetic creatures, locate synthetic life in blue star systems? Use galaxy map to locate appropriate system, access the galaxy map. All right. So we need to upgrade this one. Emerald. Cadmium and chromatic metal. That takes us to the red stellar bodies. Green, blues. Technology All right, we can get wiring, wiring loom at space stations. And of course, we all know how to get chromatic metal. So, time to do that. We keep getting rewarded with junk too, I realize. Whenever we finish the last uh, bit of an ex exploration, <laughs> our reward is like mold and the junk item slime, which I guess would make sense if there's not really anyone that's kind of uh, giving us this mission. Since there's nobody here, there's no one out to give us missions. I can get up to 15. Alright. Any good planets around here? Could always go back to that one. Everything else is high sentinel stuff. Well, that's got copper on it. So we'll go back there. Harvest copper. Get chromatic metal. Fix my ship. Add that hyperdrive. Go to a, uh... Is it Red Star Planet is the, the next one? And just start getting all the different hyperdrives that we need. Go. Random unknown building. I think this is the last one I need to chart to complete this task for an expedition. Save and chart. Nanites for doing that too. Which we have to collect nanites. Store shield, search here, get some carbon, extract those nanites, which we need. Let's go to this damage machinery. Uh, get rid of this thing. Nanites. Oh, movement module. That's not bad. I'll take these. Don't mind these at all. Helps with my jetpack. Take all the copper and just throw it in here. You gotta charge this though. don't need your dust right now, we just need a bunch of chromatic metal. 287. Now, in order to get this up and going, just need 250, so we're getting that. We're gonna have some left over. And it need 109 more. So I think I have to go to one more copper deposit. Phosphorus, unknown building. I do need just one more waypoint. Maybe I should go down to that building.
And let's save and chart. There we go. Milestone complete. Nachalon advanced equipment. Blueprint, supreme, submarine, drive upgrade, underwater survival movements. Oh, okay. And all these things. Because we do have to go underwater at some point to look for a sunken freighter. travel to the next sun places. Need to go to a red star planet. Alright, say I didn't do that. Say we went expedition route. This way. Because I don't see a red star close on that side, but if I were to warp here... Activated copper and ancient bones in this one. It's a toxic planet. Let's go check it out. It's going to be filled with uh, absolute nightmare. And after we have dug around in the sand and these ancient bones, we'll find a red star. We'll go get some cadmium. Oh man, I can't see anything here. What is happening? Oh, oh. destroying me. Another unknown building. Let's go check that one out. Someplace cool. A minor settlement. So, no. Yeah, it is. Not falling anywhere as fast as it was, but still falling. Look around for active copper deposits. Here's one. should be enough activated copper to repair my ship. This part. Great. Let's go to that minor settlement. See what they have going on for them. Ah, uh, I did not mean to do that.
Is it 125? 150. We're close. Almost got it. Look at that, man. This thing was so beat up when I first found it. And now it is almost completely restored and back to uh, its glory days. If not better, because I've put more cargo bays into it. It's gonna be very nice once it's done. It's just getting that paraffinium. Stuff's hard to get. We haven't had the best of luck. Let's uh, let's go back in space. Uh, I did want to go into a red star system. There's this one. That is a red star, yeah. It looks like a red star. We're gonna warp there. Um, yes, it is a red star planet. We need to get some cadmium fissured, which I think might be a good place to stop. I'm gonna check it out and see what it's about. I see some cadmium straight down. Past these clouds here. Oh, whoa. Lots of... Uh, lots of lights. Oh, oh, no. Hitting them. They're kind of like floating there. I don't think that's cadmium. That looks like gold. That right there looks like cadmium. Alright, let's land. Pretty cool looking. Fauna is unusual. Oh, yeah, it looks like the fauna is just kind of bright lights. Curious if I can feed them pellets. Rather strange and cool looking planet. Hello, creature. Do you accept pellets? I guess not. It doesn't give me the option to feed them a pellet. These are the planets that I like to discover. It's kind of odd ones. And it doesn't seem like there is any type of environmental hazard. It's not hot, it's not cold, it's not toxic, it's not radiated. There could also be just weather changes, though, depending on what kind of extreme weather it has. Alright, we're gathering the cadmium because we need it to make our next hyperdrive engine in order to get to green star planets. Green star planets have, uh, if it's called Emerald. Which we need for the next hyperdrive to get to blue star planets in order to see those synthetic creatures, in order to see the robots. And maybe the robots will have more answers as to where everybody went. But for the most part, when I visit a green or red or blue star planet. I find that there isn't really any space stations or anything, but those are normally found in yellow star planets. So of all of life was in a yellow star planet or yellow star system, then maybe the synthetic creatures would have never encountered any life forms. Because we don't know how far back it's been since life has just vanished. How much cadmium did we harvest from that? 521. That is a very good amount. Want to install this. Which you already can. Managed to purchase a bunch of wiring looms because I know I was going to need them for upgrades. And now we can move to green stellar bodies. 
All right. As awesome as this planet is, I think it's time to move on. Let's continue on going through the galaxy map. We need to get to a green star planet. Need to free explore and I see one. This one. 59 light years away. Six planets. Let us see. What do we have here? So I'm thinking we go to uh Litwick the second tier or some emerald. It's abandoned planet. There's some right there. I think. Ah, oh, and that's a rusted metal. And I don't see any emerald deposit. Ancient artifact site, so I wonder if I can find one out here. Here too. Also, what I think is an ancient structure. I convulse as I reach out and touch the beautiful stove marker, my mind filling with a deadly knowledge of the true history of the Gek. Memories of Ohm Tourette. We are the masters of galaxies, the overlords of the cosmos. Each foe will submit with bended knee to the almighty Gek Dominion. We are the first spawn. Look upon our words and decipher. Seek knowledge of the past. And yet another location. An ancient rune over there. An ancient plaque over there. I'm gonna hit the plaque for before we go to the rune. Well, we may not have found emerald close by, but we may be able to get the uh, ancient sites visited expedition part done. I don't think I've been to an ancient plaque before. Oh no, we have. Never mind. Got a glimpse at what it looked like, and I remember now. This is also something that's like connected to the Atlas. As I touch the obelisk, images of the planet's ancient past flood my mind. Terrible beginnings of the Gek have been absorbed by this strange stone, and their tale seems desperate to escape. Pillars of Inent Zion. All who hear our words know our might. Those who oppose us are broken to our will. Behold the power of the Gek first spawn. Galaxies lie at our feet. We are eternal. Seek knowledge of the past. And I guess it just takes us to the exact same place, huh? To the same ancient ruin. Same here, doesn't seem to be... Any, uh... Emerald nearby. Crazy. Found ourselves a fossil. Oh, not really sure where else to go from here, so I think what I'm going to do bring out my signal booster. See if I can locate a nearby structure. Just 
an abandoned building. Wow, and again, still no emerald. Crazy. All right, abandoned terminal, what do you have for me? Residual goop and what else? Returning user identified. Terminal now active. Unlocking data log. Continuation for analysis. I glimpse the crimson orb between the clouds. A vast and baleful eye, unblinking and monstrous. Fear turned the blood in my veins to ice. I was so afraid it would see me. But then the clouds moved and it was gone. I was no longer certain if I had ever been real. Perhaps the fungal deposits from the last world I visited are still clogging my exosuit vents, affecting my cognition somehow. I've cleaned my filter six times now, but I still feel it inside me. Analyze the data log. I discover something coded deep inside the log long dead traveler's data log. Something has been left that will aid me on my own journey. Nanites? Nanites. And there we go. We completed that milestone. Well, that unknown building's just right there within walking distance. So I think I'll just do that. I'll walk over to it. Um, let me also get the reward. Forbidden exosuit module, forbidden multi-tool module. I'll take them. Don't see any authorities that are going to stop me from using these. I have a few installed already. What do we have? Uh, solar panel power and core health. We don't have any solar panels. And then Sentinel's weapon shard. A crimson resonator. Glassy mirror, rithering. Osculator, crimson resonator. Just to increase damage, fire rate, times. Which are always things that I won't turn away from. This may just lead us to another location. Antimatter housing. Oh no, I didn't check the ceiling. I wouldn't have seen that either. Get around to this side. Stargazers of Yotid. Deck Observatory. The observatory hums gently as it scans the sky. The traitor that manned it was clearly looking for something in the cosmos, and it seems the observatory may have found it. If I can decipher this beacon's code, I may be able to pinpoint its origin. 9183-1839-8391-3918. They crack the code and find the location within the depths of space. on another planet well if there's no emerald nearby from where we're at here I don't mind leaving to another planet to go find some since we're not having that much luck here Just metal there's an emerald deposit all right let's mark that down because we're gonna go visit that next and then we'll go check out that ancient room emerald did we wind up getting? Oh, 482. 
you add in the 250 we just spent. So good, we have some left over in case we need any for crafting. And now we can travel to blue stellar bodies and we can go look for some robotic life forms. Let's go and discover synthetic creatures. Well, let's go check out a... What is it? Ancient relic location? Ancient ruin. And then we will go check out some robots. Memories imbued into the rock long ago by the ancient Gek channel into my brain. I recoil, but am compelled to somehow understand. Through time and space, the first spawn endures. Eternally, ever watchful, unyielding over its dominion. Each foe will be crushed. Only the Gek will remain. Let's go seek knowledge of the past. And there we go. Discover five lost relics. That expedition has now ended. Powerful underwater oxygen upgrade, ban hazard protection upgrade, historical document. I wonder what the historical document's about. Viking reports. It's just like these fossil samples. Powerful underwater oxygen upgrade, but we don't have that. It's for our exosuit. Ban hazard protection upgrade, I'll take that. Give us just a little more resistance. And there you have it. More milestones down. We now have the engine to visit the Blue Star Planets, where we can go and finally see some robots, which I'm really looking forward to. But we're going to have to see that in the next episode. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of No Man's Sky Adrift. Goodbye.